Well, what's really funny about the discourse online is how often things get missed. Fans these days pick apart every detail, but it turns out when it comes to Superman Legacy, something flew over everyone's head about a year ago, and that would be the new logo. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about James Gunn when he actually revealed this new logo and what it means for this version of Superman. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, recently we were talking about how Superman Legacy had done their first table read, and when they did that, we got a sneak peek into the new movie. Now, Hawkgirl actress Isabel Merced gave us our first glimpse at the new S logo for the David Cornsweet Man of Steel, and fans immediately recognized this version of the logo. This definitely got everybody talking about the new film and how it could tie into the original Kingdom Come story because that's exactly where this logo comes from. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, here's what's interesting about this because James Gunn actually revealed this logo, well, almost a year ago. Now, what happened was he posted this over on Blue Sky which isn't a social network that a lot of people are on, but Gunn has been fairly active on, at least until he hopped over to Threads. And in a post, he actually revealed that Kingdom Come logo, but in a classic color scheme. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah, that's definitely the same logo as Kingdom Come, and definitely the one that Isabel Marced posted over on her social media. Now, at this point, Gunn hasn't commented on the table read leak, and that definitely leads me to believe that this will indeed be the logo for the new version of Superman. And honestly guys, this is telling the tale of what we are about to get. Gunn posted a ton of Kingdom Come references when he took over the role, and I definitely think he's taking inspiration from that comic, but I don't think he's adapting it. Now, in this world, we already know there's a lot of established superheroes. There's already a Justice League, there's also the anti-hero team The Authority, in which we're actually getting the engineer in this film, and there's definitely a litany of other heroes like Batman who are pre-existing in the new version of the DCU. Now, if you're familiar with Kingdom Come, you probably already know this, but in case you don't, Kingdom Come is a world set in the future where Superman has retired and there's a new generation of heroes who have taken over those roles. Now, the problem is, these people are not superheroes, or even heroes by almost any stretch. They are at best anti-heroes and often have a blatant disregard for the safety of civilians, property, and everything else that makes superheroes heroes. For the most part, they're jerks. And in that comic, Superman returns to try to set this situation straight and get the world's heroes back on a page of heroism. I actually think the legacy in Superman Legacy is going to be the hero's legacy. And more than likely, that's going to be something established by Superman's family, probably coming from both his Kryptonian heritage and his human heritage, something James Gunn has highlighted multiple times. If you're familiar with the character, you know both of his fathers deeply affect Kal-El's heart and how he sees the world and how he deals with the world, and Superman is supposed to be an inspiring figure that brings people hope, and it looks like James Gunn is definitely leaning into that aspect, but the world this Superman is going to step into, I believe, is going to be much more like the Kingdom Come comic that has a group of superpowered individuals kind of doing overzealous, maybe overviolent police work, and this new version of Superman will inspire existing and new heroes to his form of heroism. Now, obviously, none of that is confirmed, and I have to highly recommend you read Kingdom Come to kind of pull out the story details, but James Gunn did not pick this logo for no reason. And given the fact that he's pointed to both this story and All-Star Superman as sort of his inspirations for the character, well, he's spelling it out for us right in front of our eyes, and I think people should be prepared for Superman to be in opposition to the world because, basically, he's going to be better than his other heroes. We're going to follow the story pretty closely. I love the new logo, and I really hope James Gunn brings this together because it's going to be a pretty cool movie if he's able to make Superman that type of figure inspiring the whole world. But we'll have to wait and see.